What up, YouTube? I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, we're going to get active on here, man. This is going to be a little segment that I'm going to be doing. Man, it's called The Gun of the Day. G-O-T-D, you know what I'm saying? Episode 1. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that that they say do. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Uh, and CGT, man, that ain't no gang shit. I do uh, my own t-shirt designs and things of that nature so that's one of my logos anyway but we'll talk about that in another video but uh right now gotd gun of the day episode one you know what i'm saying so uh let's go ahead and get started see today we're talking about the ruger mini 30 yeah that's the gun of the day i like this one you know what i'm saying um uh, 7.62 by 39 y'all know what that is if you don't that's that ak round you know what i'm saying but yeah this is a nice little gun i like it the boat spins around like uh one of those springfield m1s whatever they call uh but yeah i ain't do too much to it nice little medium range i put the uh the uh, kick stands on it nice little nikon scope nothing fancy you know what I'm saying? I think these are 20, 20 rounds, 20 round mags. You know, a couple of them in there. Yeah. But uh, this must spit. You know, it must spit. Um, hold on a second. It really, uh, Yeah, that's cool right there. I uh, I done took it to the range a few times. Took it to the country once or twice. I haven't. I don't do too much hunting stuff like that. But uh, if I was gonna hunt, I'd probably take this. Well, I got a few things I probably could take. But uh, this definitely would be. Probably my first, my first choice, especially I got the scope sighted in and everything. Yeah, Ruger Mini 30. It shoots the same round as the AK, but because it's a, um, you know, it's a rifle, more of a rifle frame. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more accurate. These had an issue when they first came out. I think uh, you lose a little bit of accuracy after the barrel heat up. You know what I'm saying? I haven't experienced that. Uh, in the range that I shot, probably, you know, I don't be doing nothing too serious because I don't really have too much time to get out there like that. Uh, probably between 30, 50 yards is probably the most I done pushed it out. That's not that much for you guys who got the big, elaborate setups with all the acreage, but you know what I'm saying? We do what we can, you know, with what we got. So we go to the range. Sometimes I haven't been to an outdoor range with this yet. Um, just a regular indoor range and you know they they don't got distance like that so but anyway gun of the day ep1 ruger mini 30 yeah i like that boy but uh and they do got a serial number everything is legit you don't even got no mag um in it it's not you can look in there no round in the chamber so we safe i just put a little piece of black tape on there so y'all can't see my serial numbers yeah but it's all legit you know what I'm saying? Solid legit. The job I got, I got to be legit. So, yeah. Yeah, nothing in the chamber. It's clear. Nikon scope. Nice little case. 20 round mag. A couple of extra mags. Um, one thing about these, though. Y'all know, man. Sometimes, depending on what's going on, and it's crazy. Depending on what's going on, every time we have an election, something like that, it's always hard to find rounds. And uh, the 7.62. The this boy here, he like brass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, steel casing. I, I haven't tried to run through here. Usually, I just reserve the steel case, the cheap cheap stuff for my actual AKs, cause they can uh, they can feed that stuff. You know, no problem. But this here is a little bit more picky. So brass, you're gonna have to have some brass. 7.62 by 39, which is the AK round. You know what I'm saying? And again, the regular AKs like them Dracos and the Stavos, you know, they can take brass 
or steal any kind of ammo. I've never had any problem with any mag, any ammo, any type of ammo or magazine issues on a regular AK. That's why I like them so much. But um, one reason why I like them so much. But this is not an AK, even though it shoots the AK round. You know, um, it's different. It's more like a rifle. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, rather than an assault rifle, it's more like a like a, a rifle rifle. I don't know what the right term is. You know what I'm saying? But I know this boy spit, and I know that it hit. You heard me? Yeah. Had a lot of fun. All right, but that's EP1 gun of the day. Rugal Mini 30. Um, I haven't seen these out. You know, I went to a gun show here uh, right about the middle of December. And uh, I didn't see any of these, you know. Uh, it got a little weight on it, too. I like it. You know, I'll probably give me a sling for it. Um, and I also want to uh, uh, change these out. You know, I want to get some high-rise. So I can still use my iron sights. Right now, I can't use my iron sights. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I was so excited. I, I just put it on with what I had and sighted it in. Uh, hindsight, probably should have waited and got the right, what well, the stuff that I wanted. The high-rise mounts. So you can see through under here. And you can look through there and still use your iron sights. Your front and your rear iron sights. So right now, I can only use the scope. But again, like I said, I don't take this out that much. Um, I really have never even cleaned this gun, to be honest. Uh, I never uh, looked at the instructions and how, or watched no videos on how you break this down. So really, I just did the uh, burp, you know, the, the minimum little field cleaning, you know, cleaning the, the chamber, the barrel, you know. Uh, but I ain't never really just broke it all the way down. It looked. It looked like it's a lot to it. Again, that's why I like the regular AKs, man. They got that one little button on the back, pop it open, pull the uh, rod and the spring out, and you can clean it. But this here looked like it might be a little complicated. So, you know, um, I might just take it to the gunsmith and uh, let them clean it and change out these mounts and get it back sighted in. You know what I'm saying? Make it easy. Uh, I don't know. Let's say you always got either time and no money, money and no time. But uh, right now, the way it is, <laughs> it still will hit. So even though I'm just using the, uh, I can't use my iron sights. Uh, I wouldn't stand in front of it if I was shooting it. So, <laughs> and I, I and that scope is pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't too, and it, you know, they got some scopes that get really, really pricey. This one was not that pricey. It's a Nikon, what does that say? BDC, long range hunting rectangle. Yeah. So it's it's real crispy, real clear. You know what I'm saying? Uh and I yeah, I'm definitely on I'm definitely getting some, some nice groups. So I'm just curious to see how far you know I can really put it out there. But I guess we'll see one day. Alright, but that's it. GOTD EP1, you know what I'm saying? Episode 1. Y'all be looking for me. We're going to get active on here. Try to get some of this passive income, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy.